I'm going to tie Kay's Better Caddis and I'm starting off with a size 14 dry fly hook in the vise and the thread that I'm going to use is an 8 out 10 so I'll just get this started at the front of the hook shank and remove the tag end and one of the reasons this is called quote unquote a better caddis is it's tied with a, a foam wrapped body and so I'm going to take about an eighth inch section of foam and tie that in on the hook shank here and it may look a little bit uh, out of disproportion to the size of the hook but once you start wrapping this uh, you'll see it'll make a nice tight body. So I can just bring my wraps up through. One word of caution is you want to watch that point in the hook. So what I'll often do is bury that uh, in the jaws so that I don't have to worry about it catching. So I'll just start to make my wraps. And you'll see as it works up the body it'll start to work itself into size and then I'll tie that off and trim the excess and now for uh, the hackle I'm going to use a furnace hackle match to size so I've got a piece of hackle here I've already removed the excess and cut a little stem uh, so that I can tie that in and I'll wrap that right into the side and I'll attach my hackle pliers here to give me a little bit more control and then I'll just start to make some nice wraps all the way up through to create the collar and when I get to the thread I'll just tie it off Now I can remove the tip and I'm also going to clean up a couple of those that wanted to lay back. So I'm just going to hold everything back and take a couple of wraps. To get ready for my wing and for that I'm going to use an elk hair and this is a, a lightered color elk hair so I'll remove a clump from the hide and again I always try to take a little bit more than I'm going to use because as I start to weed this out remove the under fur and any short and long pieces it will uh, it'll start to decrease in, in volume. So now I can put it in my stacker and just get these tips aligned. And again go through maybe one more weeding out process in case you got some of those uh, short pieces that moved up. Now when I'm happy with that I'm going to hold this against the the back of the hook and just like with uh, an elk hair caddis you want it to uh, go to about the the end in the hook and I'm just going to make a straight cut so I have my measurement and then I'll just tie this in right on top and I'll push some of these hairs up on the butt section I'll make a couple of wraps underneath as well and then when I whip finish this I'm going to take a couple of whip finishes through the actual butt pieces and that just helps it stand up a little bit better and then I'll pull that tight and trim the thread and again this is a really nice floating pattern that foam 
Uh, it's less maintenance stream side, uh, so you don't have to worry about drying it out quite as much. A lot of synthetic. And that is K's Better Caddis.